Today, I wanna to talk to you about vocabulary. I don't know about you, but in the classroom, I felt like I had hundreds of vocabulary words to teach all year long. I had two or 300 in math, two or 300 in science, social studies, and language arts, and I couldn't get through all those vocabulary words in the time allotted, and even more so, my kids weren't remembering those vocabulary words. I would teach them all week long. I would give them a list on Monday. I would teach those words all week long. I would test them on Friday, and those kids would forget those words over the weekend, and then I would give them a new list on Monday. Until I began to read the research regarding vocabulary words, I started to see that I needed to tier my words. I needed to have different levels of words. And today, I wanna to talk to you about the academic vocabulary words. You see, you might have 300 science terms to teach, but you can't teach all of those and be successful. What you need to do is figure out what are the 30 words per content area that children or students need to acquire in your classroom to be successful in that content area. So in this training, what I help you do is decide what are those 30 words? How do you figure out what are the 30 words that your kids are gonna get multiple exposures to? Because when I read the research on vocabulary, it blew me away. You see, your high ability student needs to be exposed to that vocabulary word four times in order to put it in long-term memory. Because our goal is we want them to be able to access that vocabulary word. We want them to speak with that vocabulary word. We want them to use it in their writing. And so the research says that your high ability kid has to work with that word four times. Your average student, they need to work with that word 14 times in order to put it in long-term memory and be able to access it. But what blew me out of the water was that your struggling students, your low achieving students, they needed to work with that word 40 times before it went into long-term memory. That's what the research is telling us. And so in this training, I teach you how to tier your words so you can decide what are the 30 that are gonna get 40 exposures all year long. Now I'm going to teach the others and they may get 14 exposures, but how do I teach these 30 words? How do I take it through the six step process so that I can quickly but effectively get my students to learn these vocabulary concepts that are essential for their learning in my classroom? 